well in school depends on being able to read, write, talk, and listen. Hey you, yes I'm talking to you, stand up. No, change my mind, sit down. <gasps> but learning to read takes a Don't lot of time and practice again. for young stand children. Up. Children have to learn that lines and circles in letters go together to make words, and that the words have meaning. They have to learn that books have stories or give information. There are many ways to help your child enjoy books and practice reading. No matter where it's hidden. I can't say enough about how important reading to children is. It's important actually from the time they're born, and it continues to be important when they start school. Because if children are successful in learning how to read, when they get to third grade, they have to be able to read to do their other subjects well. So when you read with your child, you're helping your child find out that reading is interesting and it's fun and it's a good way to get new information and enjoy the whole experience of reading. A great way to help your child practice reading and become a better reader is to have books at home for him to read. There are several ways to get more books for your children. The library is a great source of books. Take your child to the public library or have him check out some books from the library at school. Encourage him to read those with you at home. Here we go Susie, here's your new card. Get your child a library card check out books because this establishes a lifelong habit of reading and knowing that you can use a library to get books for pleasure, to get books for information. And you know, libraries now even have computers and all kinds of good things that kids need to succeed. A lot of the public libraries actually offer story times. That's when a librarian reads a book with a group of children and the kids have such a great time. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? The end. He already ate it. The library also has surplus book sales where you can often find inexpensive children's books. Many thrift stores or used bookstores have used books for children that do not cost a lot of money. Many yard and garage sales have children's books for sale. See if friends or neighbors have children's books that they don't use. Maybe they will lend or give them to you. Trade books with friends who also have young children. The more books children have to read at home, the more fun they'll have in practicing reading. Wait, the tiny tickly bug is ah. out of your mouth, but now it's in your shirt? Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. It also says you could count the stars and become an astronomer. One of the best things parents can do is read books with their children. Here's some simple tips for reading books with your child. I think something that's really important is when you're selecting the book that you're going to read with their, your child, either get your child to pick it out or pick something that you know your child is going to be interested in. Hey guys, it's story time. What book do you want to read? That little bear. Again, you always pick this book. Is this your favorite? Uh-huh. Okay. Then when you're reading with them, make sure they can see the pictures so that they're reading along with you. And in addition, ask them questions as you're going along. Say, gosh, what do you think is going to happen next? When we turn the page, what will we see? What is it? What's he wearing now? It's snow pants. Hooray! Now I will not be cold. Little Bear went out to play. What? He'll be cold again. He'll be cold again? I think you're right. Let's see. You know, there are some other really nice things, too, about reading, like choosing your very own chair or your corner of the room that's your very own little reading spot. And if you can, picking a time during the day when you 
read with your child, whether it's right before bedtime, which is always great, or just after dinner, or maybe even first thing in the morning. Try it with your own child and see what happens. And read some more books. <laughs> you guys ready to start? Okay, here we go. This is a big, huge book. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? While reading the book, make sure she can see the pictures. Little mouse. Hold the book up or lay it on your lap. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. Find the strawberry. You're safe. Try you're using fun strawberry. voices. Watch your child no as you read the book. Is she been. happy, sad, interested? See how she follows the story. Or who is guarding it? Quick. There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. What do you think it is? Have her guess what comes next. Cut it in two. You would eat it all. Share half with me. And we'll both eat it all up. Words are all around us. Food labels, signs, menus, text messages. A great way to help children practice reading is to read the words around them. We sometimes think that, that learning how to read and reading is something that happens at school and that the teacher teaches our children how to read and gets them to practice reading. But nothing is more important than giving your child lots of opportunities to read things to you. That really helps children learn to read well, to recognize words, and to understand. Help! Make a scary face now! Here are some fun ways to help your child practice reading every day. You doing your homework? Yeah. Read it to me. Have her read her school books or assignments to you. When you're out for a walk or drive, have her read the street signs. At the grocery store, have her read the labels on food packages. Have her read the labels and find what you want to buy. Have a regular time when she reads to a younger brother or sister, a neighbor, a grandparent, a pet, or even a stuffed animal. Have her read the labels on cereal boxes, soup cans, and other food packages in your own kitchen. So we need two cups all-purpose flour. All right, hold on. Have her read the recipe to you when you cook, or the directions for using a tool. Have her read the outside of an envelope that comes in the mail. Ask a grandparent or other relative to send your child a letter. Have her read it to you. Look for fun reading games on the computer or nice. smartphone. Let's check these out. There's really a lot to choose from. K N O B. No. Send your child a note or email on a smartphone. Have her read it to you. Hmm. Nick and Lily's favorite. Have her read the menu at a restaurant. Low down. Jim's creation. Watch children's shows on public television with your child and have him read along. Reading with your child helps her do better in school, become a better reader, and increase her attention span. Reading with your child also lets him know that he is important to you, builds feelings of love, and creates fun. Give your child yeah, the best present of all, your time. Around. What do you think about that? This is a funny book. This is a funny book. 
it's easy to spend time with them. I mean, that's that five minutes that we take to watch TV. This is the five minutes that we need to spend with our kids. And it's important, valuable time. So it's like just investing our time into her and she knows how important she is and how important learning is now. I love it.